Today we're going to be talking about Math You See. Hi everybody, my name is Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Homeschool Honey. I'm an ex-elementary school teacher turned homeschooling mom of two fantastic kids, ages 10 and almost 13. And today I'm going to be talking about the math curriculum that we've used this year and that we are continuing with in the coming year, and that is Matthew C. So one of my children is on the Delta level, the other is on Gamma. I don't have the Gamma book with me, but it's the basic, basically the same concept in the same way that that it goes through it so I wanted to talk to you about why we chose to go with Matthew C over some of the other curriculums that are out there so we started our homeschooling journey using Matthew C and I really liked it it really built the foundation of a lot of the math concepts that my kids maybe lost or had gaps with in public school when I pulled them out after our first year we switched and started using teaching textbooks which is completely online and at first my kids were really excited about using teaching textbooks and having an online program and they they seemed to enjoy it at first but as the year went on it became more and more challenging it moved really quickly and by the end of the year they were begging to go back to Matthew C which surprised me because it really is worksheet based now we still do hands-on activities it does come with blocks um, to build the numbers and all this that that's a good thing but we don't always use the the blocks that come with it but they are there for kids that need that extra step with their building numbers and breaking them down. Another thing with Matthew C is there are videos that go with each lesson. You can get the disc or you can go online to view the videos when you have purchased the, the curriculum for the year. Another thing I really like about Matthew C is that it is a lot slower paced and it's a lot more intensive as far as mastery of skills it doesn't spiral quite as much as I like but there is some spiraling when you get to the reviews at the end of each chapter where which I what I mean is it'll pull in concepts from previous chapters just to keep them refreshed and reviewed I'm gonna turn the camera down so you can take a peek at Delta, which is single and multiple digit division. It also encompasses some geometry, which is what my kid ended this school year with. So let me turn it down and give you a peek. One other thing I really like about Matthew C is that it gives so many days worth of practice that if you need that many, it's amazing because it's there. And if your child has the concept, it's really easy to just give the test and jump to the next chapter. So you get to really pace it for your child, which is wonderful for us because some of my, some of these concepts, my kids need a lot of extra time. Some of these concepts, my kids are, they've got it and they're ready to move on. Another perk is if you've used all the pages in the book and your child still needs more help with that concept, you can go online and they've got additional uh, work that you can download from their site. This is the Delta workbook. We started this in the middle of, I can't remember if it was in December or January, but we don't base it on like we're finishing this book per year. So whenever we start back up in the new school year, this is the book that my child will start with. There is a, a check off in the front if you want to, you know, make sure that they get all of their lesson practices and their system reviews and then their test if they choose to do that. Um, also, after every six chapters, there is a unit test that you can give your child to see if they've still mastered all of the concepts from that uh, section. As you can see, they start with 1A, 1B, 1C, and so on. Um, but as my child was getting this one, you can see that they skipped that and went to the review and the test, which is frequently what will happen. If I see that they got A and B, and they it just blew through it, then I'll say, okay, well, we're gonna jump to the systematic review. We'll do that. If you blow through it, then okay, test time, moving on, right? I'm not gonna spend every day working on something that is so easy that they don't need that. Okay, so I'm gonna jump ahead. This is what my, my 
quote sixth grader is working on my child did gamma before this one and I was okay with that because when my child was pulled whenever we pulled out of school um, division multiplication they were really challenging concepts so I was okay with taking it back a few steps so we could really ferment and cement ferment cement those ideas and those concepts in the in the brains let me zoom in a little bit more all right, so this is chapter four. Now we ended, oh, okay, so each chapter also, after the systematic review, has an application and enrichment page uh, that they complete, and it'll give a little bit of, a little more problem solving, if you will. Now each chapter does have problem solving, so some of it is, this is a review page. They're finding areas of polygons, they're practicing dividing. This is where they're getting that review of previous concepts and then some problem solving. So we ended the year on chapter 13 and it was super tempting for me to get the chapter 13 test so that when we start our new school year, we start off fresh with chapter 14, but I decided to stop and leave one of our review pages and then do the test so when we first start up, It'll be a quick review of what we had done previously and give the test at that point. That way, when my child starts in chapter 14, when they get to the review, they will have it will be fresh in their mind still. This is the chapter 13 review page that comes right before the test. There's usually 20 up 20 problems, uh, reviewing capacity, multiplication then the problem solving becomes a little more challenging. Now, as far as the application and enrichment, we don't always do these. Uh, it just depends. Like I tend to lean towards one that are more problem solving because my kids are not really into coloring and doing this kind of thing. So we don't always do this, but sometimes let's say, I'll say do the backside because it looks like a good problem solving, critical thinking type activity as opposed to as, as opposed to this. Moving forward, I'm gonna, you know what, let me just jump through a few. <laughs> this might be one we do. Uh -huh. but here's where I'm not looking forward to. When we start dividing with remainders, there's a whole section on that. Moving forward into multiplying larger numbers. This one I don't think is gonna be a huge deal. But as you can see at the beginning of each chapter, there's a lesson practice. They usually show a few. There's a video that goes with it and uh, then you can just take it at your own pace. This is what we've got to look forward to moving forward. There will be three regular pages of practice and then three review pages that hit on the concept they've just learned and then rotate through what has come before. Much, much larger division problems where they're dividing into the tens of thousands. There is a separate workbook for the tests. So here's the test workbook for this, just to give you a quick peek at that. They're pretty straightforward, chapter 13, and they review the different concepts. So the test is not just over that chapter. It also does a little bit of spiraling on other things. Usually there are 20 problems on the test. And then after every six tests, there is, should be after 18. Ah, where's the next unit test? There it is. A uh, unit test, which encompasses a much larger, it's usually two pages. So how many problems is that? Hmm. This one is 26 problems. Okay, so it's a much more comprehensive unit test over a larger chunk of lessons. Now, some weeks the video that is provided doesn't quite uh, help or my, it maybe is not exactly reaching my child. So there are, every now and then there are weeks that we I have to go look for additional videos or additional ways to to approach the concept and i think that would just 
probably be true with any math curriculum. But once again, this is one that we really like because we can pace it ourselves and because it takes it a little bit slower. It takes it, a, for us, it takes us a little bit slower and that way we can really dive deeper and get a lot more practice as far as cementing the ideas and the concepts for my kids. So again, every child is different. So this may be something that moves way too slow for your child, but I like it that, you know, there are certain chapters that my kids can fly through. And then when they hit that wall, we can stop and slow down and it gives us that space to really slow things down and dive deeper and really make sure that we're understanding concepts before we move on to the next uh, phase. So I hope you found this video helpful as far as learning about math you see. And this again is the Delta level. It goes all the way up. It has a lots of levels. So uh, again, hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for coming by. Bye.